Welcome y'all, this is Annie, and today I'm doing a collection video. This is my Southbound Wax collection, and I'll just be up front with y'all. I have set up to film this video three times. This is the fourth time, actually. And the other three times, um, I have gotten interrupted right at the beginning, or before I've even gotten started, and had to put everything away. Um, right now I'm kind of filming on the top of the stove, just for kind of convenience on top of a silicone mat for a white background so it's not a um, high reflection of the black glass on the surface and I don't know why every time I've tried to video this I've got interrupted and then before I know it it's time for dinner and I'm gonna clear up the stove so it is now about 3 30 a.m. and if you struggle with insomnia you know that sometimes the best cure is to get up, change the environment, make yourself feel like you're being productive, and then your body will reward you with some sleep if it feels like you've done enough, right? So that's what I'm kind of hoping. And besides, I've really been wanting to get this video done so I can kind of put on my clamshells and everything back away. So without further ado, let me hop into Southbound. Um, I'll set this stack so you aren't just staring at a white space here. Southbound is one of my favorite vendors. They have great shelf life, and for me, they perform very well in my home. I have not actually tested a lot of Southbound with Scentsy warmers, so I can't speak to how they perform with those warmers, but I get great results in my tea lights and in my hot plates and I primarily just pop it into hot plates either candle warmers or julienne home warmers which is primarily the kind of warmer in my house that I like to use in the julienne home warmers if you're familiar with those there's three different heat settings I usually melt my southbound on the medium heat setting it gets plenty hot I can melt it on the high heat setting um, but I don't have throw issues on the medium one. It's strong enough for me. And that causes the wax to not evaporate, or the fragrance oil to not evaporate quite as quickly. So it lasts a little bit longer when I'm melting. So that's kind of what I tend to pop it onto when I'm melting southbound. Um, I'll kind of show you all some of the sizes of amounts I'll put into the Julianne home warmers as well as the, like the two-in-one candle warmers in just a second when I get to the bakery bags that I have but if you have any clamshells usually I will just pop one piece of a clamshell in and those two-in-one home warmers if it's a room that I wind up only having like one left I'll just pop two into those because those are a little bit bigger dishes. Southbound is based in Alabama and the owner is Rachel and I honestly don't remember how long they have been around but longer than I have been melting vendor wax and um, I'll just let you all know they have great shelf life. Um, I would double bag your bakery bags just because bakery bags can sometimes have little leaks all around that um, plastic front panel that you can see through um, as well as I just like to double bag my wax just to make it sure it gets as long as possible in my collection. However, I have had wax that was never double bagged that was hitting that four year point from Bath not from Bath and Body Works, um, from Southbound, and it performed very well for me. So if you don't like double bagging, um, it may still be perfectly fine for you. Um, it's just a matter of preference, right? So I've melted stuff from them that's hit around four years. It's done great. I don't know how long it would last. Um, in my collection, but it's honestly not a vendor. I feel like I need to rush and hurry up and use scents, even really in any category at all. They have a move that's been going on recently, so the website should be back up soon. Join the Facebook group and there should be some updates there, but um, 
there should be a pre-order starting soon. They have a pre-order every one or two months. I can't remember the frequency. And there's almost always RTS items on the site available even during a pre-order. And items that weren't necessarily offered in the previous pre-order. There's also extras from a recent pre-order that'll be added on to the website um, in varying different shapes. They offer four different shapes plus some candles. I have not tried the candles, but I would like to. They have clamshells, wax cakes, which are like souffle cups basically, but they have some decorative wax on top and I'll show you those in just a minute. Bakery bags, which are their shapes. And I love the bakery bags. They're probably my favorite um, size to order. There is just such a variety of shapes in the bag and I think it's really fun. And they also have loaves. So I'm gonna start with the clamshells, kind of try to go um, by categories a little bit and hopefully not make this video too long. All right, first up, I'm gonna start with some of the summer wax. I actually melted this recently. This is Beach Blossom. I actually melted it back in June. June was um, a month where I did a whole melting basket for the month on places you could go for a summer vacation or really travel to um, as a large part of the basket. So that included Beach Scents and I melted this. It's gorgeous. I would probably get a loaf in this and it reminds me of something but I cannot quite put my finger on it. If you've melted this, do you know if this is a dupe for something or is there something else in the vendor community that you feel like this smells like? It's very sweet and a little bit perfumey and oceany and I just think it's gorgeous. So this is Beach Blossom and it's Sunlit Peonies and Wild Beach Rose Blossoms next to weather, Weathered Wood and Sand Dunes. Y'all, I don't think this smells like roses at all. Um, just give it a chance, it's gorgeous. Now, some of the clamshells I got back in 2021, there's a little bit of smudging like this one, but for the most part, they are fine. And this one is Seaside Serenade. I cannot read the scent notes, I'm so sorry. I think it's saltwater breeze or something like that. Ocean sands and beach grass. I have not melted this one. Summer Days. This is Summer Blend of Watermelon, Cantaloupe, Fresh Sliced Honeydew Melons, and Juicy Green Apples. This is a great scent. I have melted this before. Um, if you like melon scents, I thoroughly enjoyed this one. It was a great performer. And I don't know why this top, it used to be green, but it's discolored a little bit, which can be off-putting, but it still smells great. It's very strong just opening this. Next up is Salty Rim, and this is coconut water, kefir lime, lime juice, lemongrass, Malibu rum, orange nectar, white wine, tonka bean, and musk. It's been a while. I need to melt this one again. And then she has a lot of patriotic, like, July 4th scents, and um, I did melt some earlier in July, so I don't have examples of everything, but this is what I still have in the clamshells. This is Stars and Stripes, and it's fresh picked strawberries, cool crisp mint, and smooth creamy vanilla. If you like strawberries and mint blends um, together, this is a great one. It's one of the best ones I feel like I found. Great performer. It's just very well um, paired together. Uh, the right kind of strawberry in my opinion and i have the, no, the um what am i saying the mint is not too icy in my opinion now this is one of my favorite blends from anywhere any vendor and definitely one of my favorites from southbound this is party in the usa and it is creamy peach vanilla ice cream and sugared waffle cones i'll kind of show y'all the colors it's very patriotic um, and I don't think I showed y'all this one, did I? That's one thing about South Bell that I love. She decorates even some of these clams, and they are so cute. So much attention to detail. 
and everything by the way has always arrived very thoroughly packaged um it looks gorgeous opening it up in this beautiful tissue paper i've never had any issues so back to this scent this is one of the best peach scents out there in my opinion great performer I don't even need a lot of time to cure it whenever I've ordered it in the past. I love this scent. If you like peach scents, get some. All right, continuing on with some um, fruity bakery scents. This is Wild Berry Banana Birthday, and this is Wild Berry Cookie Dough blended with a delicious banana pudding and birthday cake. I haven't melted this one yet. Breakfast cookies, which is fruity pebbles and vanilla sugar cookie dough with marshmallow icing. I've melted a clam of this before and really enjoyed it. If you like fruit loops, fruity pebble scents um, with bakery, it's a good performer. Next up is unicorn berries, and this is blackberry, blueberry, extra strawberries, and cotton candy marshmallow. I don't think I have melted this one before. Let me see. Them. Yeah, very berry and sweet. Kind of like a little bit of a berry candy scent with that cotton candy just on cold again i haven't melted that one donut shop this is cinnamon sugar baked crust butter creamy donut butter creamy donut batter agave syrup powdered sugar and vanilla bean this is a great scent if you like bakery with just like that hint of cinnamon sugar in here the cinnamon's not overpowering it's very delicious um I have this with some other items blended in. It's really good with, um, I think her pink sugar, she has a blend with this. Oh, it's so good. And um, strawberry pound cake, also really, really good. So I would recommend that if that's the kind of bakery that sounds up your aisle. Next up is some fall winter bakery items. This is apple crunch cookies, and it is crisp apple, and let me adjust this light and see if it gets better. I don't know if that's better or not, but crisp apple and warm cinnamon blends into a sweet cookie dough with crushed almond and vanilla cream. I've melted this before. It is so good, that apple and almond scent. It's not straight up amaretto, but I love amaretto <laughs> and wax, y'all. And it gets pretty close. It it smells delicious, in my opinion. Um, I would pick this one up again. Next up, I have two in Grinch cake, and I'll just show you all the decorations on top. It's just so cute, like a little elf hat and the bright green. This is gingerbread cake pops and frosted sugar cookies. So a little bit of a extra bakery. I do think it's a spicier gingerbread, but it's not too spicy. Um, there's some gingerbreads out there that the spice level just kind of makes it become bitter. And Southbound has a pretty good gingerbread, in my opinion. Um, it doesn't lean into that bitter area with the spices. Next up is Vintage Christmas, and this is ribbon candy, spiced tea, cinnamon, and a flower shop at Christmas. This one is so cute. It's a little gingerbread girl. Um, this smells exactly like the ribbon candy at the holidays that you'd see. Um, it does have a strong cinnamon note in here. If you do not like cinnamon scents, you probably don't want to pick this one up, but it smells exactly like that kind of cinnamon ribbon candy that you get at Christmas. I don't particularly pick up on a floral note in that one, but you know, all of our noses are different, so we might pick up on slightly different aspects of a blend. Next up is pumpkin spice latte, and this is coffee, creamy butter, clove buds, cinnamon sticks, coconut, and vanilla syrup. And look at those little orange jack-o'-lanterns. It's very cute. And this is definitely what you would expect. It's that coffee with pumpkin spice. That's not really my favorite kind of scent. I can only take a little bit of it during the year, so not a favorite blend for me, but that's more my preference than anything else. 
Love You a Latte. This is such a good coffee blend. It's salted caramel lattes, French vanilla, whipped cream, cotton candy, maple sugar, and a vanilla bean. And look, these little, like, iced lattes with a heart and a straw. So cute. If you're looking for a vendor that does a wide variety of coffee scents and does them really well, Southbound is a good place to go. They're one of the vendors I found that um, I can get some good coffee blends at. There's definitely not the only vendor out there, but um, one of the best places in my opinion. And this is just a nice, sweet, um, vanilla caramel coffee scent. I like that it's not too bitter and it's a good performer. Now this one is fantastic. This is peppermint mocha. And if you like peppermint chocolate or peppermint coffee or, or peppermint chocolate coffee blends around the holidays, I would highly recommend getting this one. I really hope to get some more before December comes around because I melted a clamshell of this last year. It was one of my favorite combinations of this scent that I have ever melted. It's so good. It is very well balanced between the coffee and the chocolate and the peppermint. There isn't anything that is overpowering the rest. And I felt like the coffee and the chocolate note together just played so well. And sometimes chocolate can be too cloying or too sweet in blends. And sometimes coffee can be... Did I just say chocolate or coffee? Okay. The chocolate can be too cloying and sweet. And then the coffee can be too bitter, or like burnt, kind of that dark roast. But this is not. This is just perfectly done. Um, very, very good scent if you like those kind of scents. So it's light milk, fresh mint leaves, peppermint, sweetened coffee, hot cocoa, and vanilla cream. Ah, oh, so good. Next up is pink peppermint, and this is pink sugar, fresh peppermint, and vanilla. I have two, and this is just your straight up mint and peppermint, but no, I'm sorry, it's late at night. Mint and pink sugar, and I do think it's a little bit more on the icy peppermint side, but it's not... Um, eye burning in my opinion. I think it's sweet and a nice balance between the three notes in there. Next up is Frosty and this is elderberries, blackberries, plums, and fizzy pop with a hint of cool mint. I haven't melted this one yet but I have to open this and chew. Look at that. So cute. Little blue snowman. I'm cold. This is just a weird smelling scent to me. The fruity berry notes with the fizz and the mint. I need to melt it though before judging it because I don't, I don't know. Sometimes um, I find Southbound has in particular some of their like Christmas winter blends. They have a lot of variety and some unusual things. So step outside your comfort zone, maybe even with something like that, and try them because I've found a lot of things that I wasn't sure I was going to like from the scent notes or on cold that I really enjoy. So I need to melt this one this year and see if that happens to be one. Next up is Sweater Weather. This is Juniper Berries, Fresh Eucalyptus, and Sage with notes of wood, sweet spearmint, and dew. This is one of the ones where the um, writing is kind of smudging a little bit. If you like sweater weather, I feel like this is one of the best dupes I found. It's not an identical dupe actually for Bath and Body Works. And by the way, Bath and Body Works has two different types of sweater weather. They have sweater weather, which is the body care version, and then they have the sweater weather, which is the candles and some of the other home fragrance. I don't know if that's because the candle it, has scent notes or um, fragrance oils that aren't skin safe. I don't know what the reasons are for them having two different. I think it's very confusing, but there are two different scents. And um, this is going to be more like the candle version, but I feel like the dew 
is something I don't get in the Bath and Body Works candle, as well as that hint of spearmint. And I think this is beautiful. It's very fresh um, and a pretty take on sweater weather. Okay, I had to get a drink of water. Next up is Snowdrop Cake. This is Almond Rose Benzoin Cassis and Black Currant. And this is so interesting. Um, I think Maggie melted this oh, sometime around Christmas and she really liked it. So I need to just melt it. Um, there's something about it that reminds me of those kind of like tan fabric band-aids, that fabric on the band-aid. I think it's the Benz one, which is often like a medicated cream um, or in medicated creams, it sounds like. So that might be what's reminding me of it, but I just need to melt it and see how it is on warm first. Next up is Sugared Snow, and this is Bergamot, Frosted Ivy, Wild Berries, Winter Roses, Vanilla Musk, and a Sweet Pop of Spun Sugar. I haven't melted this yet. I think I have a sample of this somewhere. It's kind of a sweet floral um, with maybe a little greenness to it, just based off of cold impressions. Um, I'm not dragging out all my samples for this video. Um, sorry, y'all, but it just... Um, at this point, it's just be too time consuming. But if you tried that, let me know what you think about that one. Next up is Bohemian Rose. This is sandalwood rose petals with notes of greenery and soft musk. Um, I haven't melted this one either, but on cold, I'm not sure that I will. There is something kind of cloying and very powdery about this rose. And while I do like rose scents, I've kind of burned myself out a little bit the last year or so. So I may just need to take a break before melting something like that. Next up is Rose Gold. This is sugared candy, juicy raspberries, plums, or plum, and hint of floral. Please don't judge this based off of the scent notes. It is a gorgeous scent. Very, very beautiful. Um, it is a little bit like a sweet candied raspberry in a way. Um, it's so much more than that. It's been a long time since I melted it, so I kind of need to melt it again to kind of refresh my mind. But it's just, it's a gorgeous one. It's popular with other southbound waxies for a reason. Um, just give it a shot in a small amount. Yeah, in a small amount um, and try it. Next up is Lavender and Spring Apricot. This is Lavender, Crisp Apple, Succulent Pomelo, and Ripe Apricot. Oh, I don't get any apricot in this. I do get lavender and kind of a sweet floral. And this reminds me of something. I cannot put my finger on it. I have melted a small amount of this in the past. It's been a while. But this reminds me of something, maybe a Teddy B scent. If you've melted this, um, and you know what I'm talking about, can you tell me? Because I've been trying to figure it out in my brain. <laughs> I just can't think of it. I probably need to sit down and smell my Teddy Bs and I'll figure it out, but I haven't done that. Next up is Lavender Sandalwood, and this is Herbal Lavender, Golden Amber, Forest Moss, Sandalwood, Cedar, and Earthy Patchouli. And I have two of those. Um, this is actually a lot more of a sweet lavender than you would think with that herbal lavender I do get some of the moss and a little bit of the sandalwood but it's not nearly as woody as I would think on cold however I have not melted this so um, I need to melt that first to know for sure next up is dead of the night this is a blend of pink sugar lavender marshmallows and vanilla this is a very popular scent with other southbound waxy fans. Um, I, however, I'm not a big fan of this one. Um, some of her lavenders I really love, and then some of them are more of that sweet marshmallow, or not sweet marshmallow, sweet lavender. And this one, I think, is one of the sweet lavenders. It's just, there's something about it 
that uh, just doesn't jive with my nose. It's just a personal preference. Um, I know I'm in the minority here, so don't judge it based off of my opinion. Please give it a chance yourself um, because there's far more people out there who really love that scent. Next up is Lavender Frosted Party Cake, and this is Lavender Vanilla Sweet Strawberry Frosting and Delicious Yellow Cake Batter. Look, it looks like a frosting dollop with um, sprinkles. This also is that sweet lavender that I'm not a big fan of. Um, I feel like it's a sweet lavender that's got a tiny bit of a clean note to it, and um, the strawberry is really nice in here with the lavender, but um, just not my favorite. There's a lot of others that I really love from Southbound, but just trying to be honest, I know a lot of people love that scent though. And if you're looking for a vendor that does strawberry exceptionally well, Southbound has a ton of strawberry blends and they are so good. She has so many different strawberry ones. I'm not saying that I love all of them, but there are many of them <laughs> that are just excellent. She has one of the best strawberry pound cake oils in my opinion. It's so good. It performs extremely well. If you ever have the chance to pick up strawberry pound cake cookie jar, get it. It is one of the best strawberry pound cake blends ever. Okay, I'm getting distracted. That is the clamshells. I need to move on to wax cakes and bakery bags. This video is getting long. I might break this into two parts. Um, and so it is not too much to upload. I think that's what I will do. So I will sign off here. This is my self-bound clamshells. Um, right now I'm not really adding to my collection because I just have a lot, but I'm hoping to make a little bit more progress on my clamshells. I just don't feel like I also need to be in a rush because um, they have a great shelf life. So anyways, if you don't have any of these scents, let me know down below. Have you tried Southbound? Join the Facebook group. Let me know down below if you have any favorite scents from Southbound. And thank you all for watching.